Okay, so what do we do about this problem, right? What do we do about this problem of committing the stupidest happiness mistake and prioritizing other things over happiness? I'm going to outline a very childishly simple program. Okay, three steps. Simple three steps. Okay, the first step has to do with creating what I call your happy things list. Just a little list of things that make you happy on a regular basis. For me, it is to hang out with my friends and family and also be productive at work. These things make me happy. That's step number one. Step number two is to actually start doing those things on your happy um, things list on a more regular basis, right? Uh, just these two steps alone can vastly improve your chances of not committing the stupidest happiness mistake. Why? Because by making a happy things list, happiness becomes less abstract to you. For me, it's a sense of love or connection that I feel with my family members. It's a sense of satisfaction and meaning that I get out of being productive at work. It's no longer abstract. The second reason is that when you make a happy things list, you will likely discover that um, you no longer harbor these misconceptions about happiness, that happiness leads to selfishness. It can't lead to selfishness if it means love, right? Um, it can't lead to laziness because happiness to you is being productive at work. And a final reason um, is that when you start doing the things on your happy things list, you are less likely to fall prey to medium maximization because you're prioritizing happiness now. You're doing those things that directly lead you to happiness rather than to the means or mediums to happiness. Okay, but these two steps alone may not solve the problem for you, as I discovered three years back. Okay, I'd been working on the topic of happiness for over seven years at that point in time. Okay, so I was an um, you know, expert on happiness. But um, I you know, found myself committing this mistake. By the way, the third step, which is very, very important, is to ask yourself periodically, am I prioritizing happiness? Okay, this step is very important. Reason is, I'm going to tell you a story. I was at this glasses store um, looking for a pair of glasses to buy, and I found this really wonderful pair for $120, okay? And there was a deal going on that said that you can get another pair of equal or lower value for half off, okay? So I, I, looked, at, I looked around and there was this wonderful pair for $120, and so I started looking around for another pair, um, and I found this really wonderful pair, and I was about to buy it when I recognized that it was only $70, right? But it was the best of all the other pairs there were out there. And I was in a bit of a quandary. Should I go for this really good looking pair? And uh, you know, even though it only cost $70, to me it felt like I was leaving $50 on the table. You know, I could buy another pair for $120, right? For half off. So it, uh, to me it felt like a loss. Should I go for this good looking pair or should I select a worse looking pair just because it cost more money? It gave me more value for money, right? As I was racking my brain with this, a voice in my head popped up and it said, Raj, you are a happiness researcher. You, of all people, shouldn't be committing the stupidest happiness mistake. You should select the $70 pair because that's the best looking one. That's what is going to make you happy in the long run. You know, you won't remember how much it costs. No one else is going to ask you that question, right? That is the happiness maximizing choice to make. And that's what I made in the end. Um, 